my YouTube friends, voice changers can be a game changer for your live stream. The biggest issue is that they are difficult to use. They can be so buggy and a lot of times they don't work on Mac or PC. Well, I hope to solve that issue today with an app that's gonna work for you on PC and Mac. It can be used in OBS, Zoom, Discord, Streamlabs OBS, and even browser-based live streaming tools like Melon, StreamYard, and Restream. So let's check this out. Let's get to it. My analytics say that 80% of the folks that watch my content are not subscribed. Am I doing something wrong? If so, definitely let me know in the comments. But if you are looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. It's totally free. I spend about 90% of my time in videos showing you how to do things for free. In fact, one of my most popular videos is about using voice changers in OBS with VST filters. I'll leave a link at the end of the video if you want to check it out and it's totally free. That method requires you to install different filters and then configure them yourself to get the voices you want. It can take hours and some of the plugins are going to crash your system and you don't know which ones. It's a pain but it works and it's free. Now I get constant questions about the method and what applications it works in in the comments. It seems clear that another method that's easier and works in a lot of different softwares would be good. So today I'm gonna show you a software called Voice Mod. It works on PC and Mac and it can be used in pretty much any app that takes a microphone. It does have a limited free version as well so you can check it out and you you can buy a lifetime license for 50 bucks if you like it. 50 bucks is a small price to pay to avoid all the hassle of the other method as you're gonna see when I show you how to set it up and use it. But you can click on the link in the description and check it out for yourself. And there are often discounts on this software and if you just wait for one of those sales, you can get it for less than 50 bucks. Installing voice mod is super easy. Here we are on the page and I just clicked the get voice mod free right here. And it says, thanks for signing up. It automatically drops it into your downloads. And all I have to do is click there and it takes a few moments, pops up. And I just click OK and you're just going to click next through the entire install process. If you've ever installed anything on your computer before, it's exactly the same. Here it's telling me I already have it installed, so I can't show it to you. Super easy install. Now let's set it up. Once it's installed, it automatically opens up and you can see it runs through this little process here. And in a few moments, it comes up. And there we go. It asks you to put your audio interface stuff in. So you wanna select your microphone and you wanna select how you're actually listening to the audio for voice mod. So in my case, I'm gonna use my cam link audio and for my listening device, I'm gonna select my headphones. And it says we're all done. So at this point, I should let you know that I do have the paid version of voice mod installed. But what you will get is at the very top of the voice box area, you're going to have selected picks and those selected picks are different voices that voice mod gives you for free and they're all good voices and a lot of them have really fantastic stuff but the reason why you may consider paying for it instead of just using the free voices is the fact that voice mod rotates those free voices all the time so you never really know what you're going to get which means when you go live streaming if you use a voice for a character or a face mask or something that you're using all the time you may not actually have access to that voice because it's not one of the free ones that's offered at that moment. And really that's the only downfall to using voice mods free piece is that if you need a specific voice, there's really no guarantee that it's going to be one of the free ones that's offered at that moment. If you're fine with just using the random free voices that it gives you, then you'll be perfectly happy with the free version. All of these are already set up so that you don't have to poke around or try to 
to figure out how to create the voices. But if you want to, there is a voice lab right over here where you can select different effects and adjust those effects to get the exact voice that you want. It's really, really awesome. So I can add distortion, reverb, and pitch and adjust settings over here on the right hand side. <laughs> It's awesome. And once you're done, you can save it and you can name it whatever you want. If we go into settings, you can see we could put our input and output in right here. If we go to the advanced audio settings, we can eliminate popping and mic exclusive mode, which you may need depending upon how much background noise or issues you might have with your system. It explains it all right here. If we go into general, you can set this up to start with Windows. It can start in your system tray and all the different types of things like that. And you can decide for yourself which, if any, of these settings you want on and then we have the key binds you're probably going to want to set a key for your voice changer on and off so you can turn it on and off when you decide that you want to use the voice changer a lot of these other ones just give you other ways to turn it on and off so let's go back into voice box and we'll go down here and you have different sliders that can change whether you hear yourself whether you hear the voice changer you can adjust your volumes and stuff right here mute your mic and if you click this button right here it will play a noise so you you can hear that everything is working. So here is the robot. You got the cave voice. Pretty awesome. And I could turn this off and I don't hear the voice changer. So you have all of these presets. Pretty much all there is to it. It's so easy to set this up and use it. One more thing I should show you is the soundboard. So when you pay for a license, you get all these soundboard things. So it'll play these sounds. You can set these up with keybinds and use them on your live stream. So it's like having pre-made soundboards and you can select this one and add your own. So you just click that, add in your own sounds You can create your own soundboards with your own keybinds, and you can use those keybinds in OBS to use this soundboard. There are also plugins, so you can set this up to be used with bits in Twitch. And that's pretty much what you can do with voice mod. It's really simple and easy to use. So probably the easiest way to set this up is just to go ahead and use Use your number keys to set your different voices okay so if you have three or four different voices you go ahead and set your bind keys to the number one two three on your actual keyboard using the numpad then you're going to want to have an on and off to turn those voices on and off as well so basically what you would do is you select the voice on the keypad say number one is the robot voice and then you select the number pad enter key to go ahead and turn the voices on or off so if i wanted to use the robot voice i click one then i click enter it turns it on when i want to turn it off I click enter again. Then before I want to use another voice, if I wanted to use a girly voice or something like that, I select the number key for the girly voice, like number five. And then I just have to click enter to talk with the girly voice. And that's the way you're going to want to set up these bind keys. The one thing I really have a problem with about voice mod is that using the key won't just automatically switch the voice and turn it on. And then hitting that same key should disable the voice. That's what I'd like to see. So so if I wanted the girly voice, I just click three, it turns it on. Then I click three again and it turns it off. Then if I want to use the robot voice, I click one, it turns it on and I click one and it turns it off again. Unfortunately, hitting the key twice doesn't actually disable the voice. So you have to use the on and off to enable it and disable it, but you also have to use the number keys to change the voices. With that being said, this is not hard to work around and the benefits are huge because you can create any voice that you want if you can't find it in the presets and it's really easy. And what makes this a game changer is it's so cheap, it's never gonna crash your OBS, it doesn't use up a lot of processing power, it doesn't add a lot of delay to your speaking and talking, it really just works. And at the end of the day, you don't wanna have to think too much about these voice changers. You want to use them to entertain your audience and have fun. And if it's crashing OBS, or it's taking up all kinds of clock cycles on your system, or you have to spend 25 
by the hours just trying to tweak it to get the voice that you want. It's not that much fun anymore. Now we just have to get these voices in our software. I'm going to show you OBS, Zoom, and Discord, but they all work exactly the same. All right, so here's voice mod. It's open and ready for us to do work. Let's go into OBS. We'll click this plus and we're going to go to video capture device. We're just going to drop it down and select our camera. And I just make sure that these custom settings are set up every time I do this so that my camera is displayed properly. Then we're going to scroll down to the bottom and select use custom audio device. I'm going to drop this down and I'm going to select microphone voice mod virtual audio device. And there we go. Now we are using the voice mod microphone, which is going to give us all of that audio. If you wanted to add the voice mod microphone in individually, all you have to do is click this plus, go to audio input capture, then click OK, drop down this and select your voice mod virtual input click OK and there you go. Now you have a separate input with just voice mod if you wanted to use one with and one without. For a Zoom setup, it's very similar. We're gonna go up to the top right hand corner and click on this little gear button and we'll go in. You could set up your video and drop this down, select my cam link and I'm gonna go into audio and we have our earphones set up to here and we're gonna drop this down and select our voice mod virtual audio device test it out we can see the input level is fantastic just click this X and we can start our meeting drag this down here and click use video drag this down here and click join with computer audio and we can click this up and we see we've got our earphone selected as our speaker and we have our voice mod virtual device selected so now we're broadcasting with voice mod we can select our voices turn them on and off it's awesome right in zoom the last piece here is of course discord so we're going to click this little gear button here and we're going to scroll down to voice and video here we select our input device which is our voice mod virtual audio device we're going to select our hearing device which is our headphones and we can hit the let's check we can check our microphone now you'll notice over here on voice mod they gave us a little bit of a config thing so let's move this over so we can see the config and then we'll go back in here and we'll go to voice and video and we're just going to go through here and we're going to disable those switches that voice mod tells us to disable in this case input sensitivity noise suppression echo cancellation noise reduction and automatic gain control and the reason why they're asking you to turn these off is because they will interfere with the ability for your discord to recognize the fact that you're using a voice mod or something like that so in other words if you don't uncheck these then voice mod may not even recognize what you're doing with the voice changer as a voice and it just may not show up so just be sure that you go and make these little changes in here so that discord will just play the audio that you're giving it and not worry about it all that much once you're done you just click this x up here and you're all set up to use voice mod in discord if you want to see a video on how you can add voice changers to obs for absolutely free you can check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.